going? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're still doing triangles from the guard. Since we're doing nogi, we'll do, this is gonna be a review of a triangle we learned previously from the rubber guard position, okay? One of my favorites, called the meat hook triangle. You gotta get there from rubber guards. Get in my guard. What's the rubber guard? I will show you. Okay? Yeah, okay, so we're here. We gotta break the guy down, okay, to get in the rubber guard. So, as always, we break them down however we break them down, okay? We're gonna put one foot on the hip, we're gonna kick one foot high over his shoulder, we're gonna grab our own shin. If he has his hand on my body, okay, we're gonna clear it by swimming our hand in, this is called the zombie, and grabbing our own knee, hugging our knee like this, okay? If he keeps his hand on the mat, I'm just gonna hug my knee. Most people won't though, though. They'll try to have their hands inside, so you swim your hand in, swim it out, and grab your own knee. So this, this is um, New York, okay? These all have different names. That one's called the zombie, okay? So we're in, we're in New York here, all right? I wanna get a triangle, I'm gonna get a triangle on that side. Very similar to how we did our overhook triangle the other day, okay? Usually I'd be going for like a homoplata here or something, but let's say he's keeping his head over here and I can't get to it. I'm gonna take this arm and I'm gonna reach over my own foot, over my own shin and grab inside of his armpit. I'm gonna grab his pec muscle, okay? This is called meat hook, all right? This is the meat hook right here. That's why this is called the meat hook triangle. And then it's very similar to what we did the other day. Okay, I'm gonna find the bicep. I'm gonna bring my knee out, okay? Get wrist control. You can get it this way too, either way. This way's actually a little better when it comes to this, this move in this position. I'm gonna grab his wrist, okay? Push it away from me. Bring my foot to the crook of his elbow. Kick it up. Get a reverse triangle, okay? So the triangle's supposed to be on this side, but right now it's on this side, which is fine. Use that lock to bring the arm across. Grab the head, grab my shin, adjust, lock in the triangle, pull down the spots. Okay? Yep. So it's a lot of steps, so we'll run through it again. What's the difference between the rubber guard and the post guard? Um, rubber guard is the, the positioning, right? I have my foot, my leg high up on your back, and I'm using my hand on my shin. Let me get you so you can see. To control your posture, right? Because I don't want you to have good posture. So. However, we break you down, we break you down. Cut the back of the head, foot on the head. Oh, so, so, so this is what we got going on here. If he keeps his hand on the mat, cool. I'm gonna hook my, hook my own knee. If he has his hands on my stomach, I'm gonna swim in and then hug my own knee. Either way, we're gonna get to here, okay? I'm gonna reach over my own leg, grab his pet, okay? I can come to here, okay? I can come to here, either way. All right, get this here, like I said. You can do a thumb down and thumb up. You guys prefer this way, it's a little better. Get a little more range on it. You guys prefer this way. Either way, I'm gonna push it away, bring my foot to the inside of the bicep, bring it out, lock it up. Use that reverse triangle lock to get the arm across. Grab the head, grab the shin, foot to the hip. It's important to have both of these. I'm using this and this to keep him from posturing out. Because right now he's gonna be, holy shit, I'm getting triangle, right? He's gonna be trying to back out as hard as he can, so I need to pinch it all together, right? Adjust. Lock it in, curl my toes back, and then get the both hands to the back how, of the head. How do you do the <clears throat> the spare? When I have a swim here, the zombie. Or you just so you go ahead inside. Yeah, you're probably not gonna have real well. Yeah, so I'm just gonna slip my hand down in, up and down like that. Yeah. First, I want to get the the frame and the hook. This is frame, hook. Grabbing my shin. Okay, this is gonna keep this posture broken down, right? It's a really good way to control the guy's posture. If, you keep, if he has his hand on the mat, I'm just gonna grab it. If not, swing this hand in, out, and around, hugging my own knee, okay? Once you get to here, get my butt out a little, grabbing the inside of his pec, okay? A lot of guys here will do you a favor and they'll reach back for your leg, for your leg. So reach back, reach back for me, yeah, they'll reach back, and they'll try, try to push your leg down. In which case, you say thank you. And we come up here, lock that in, push up, pull across. Grab the head, grab the shin, push the hip, adjust, okay, and then pull down the head. And okay. Any questions on that? Any parts not making sense? Do you need to see it again? Or? Uh, I think. What's the purpose of grabbing the chest? Grabbing the what? Well, you reach over a gap underneath the chest. Yeah. So that creates a gap, right? So we get to here. So we break it down. Boom. We get to here. We get to here. I hook the arm, okay? So this right here allows me to get some lift 
and make an opening, right? And it, it reinforces this frame. And if he reaches back, cool. I'm gonna grab his wrist and help him. Head, shin, hip, cut the angle. Okay. He beat it like why I don't I don't understand why it's necessary to do the overhook? The, yeah, the uh when I'm, when I'm, you say I'm not going here. Why is it necessary to go here? Yeah. To get the uh, posture. If, if it is already in there. Why, this? Do you, why do you need to go inside again to go back? Because I'm trying to position. isolate the shoulder as much as I can, right? So this here is keeping your posture broken down. This is keeping your posture broken down, but now look, this hand is free to fight here, right? So this is keeping you trapped in this position. If I just had my leg here, posture up. Posture up. Mm -hmm. No, posture up. Yeah. I can't keep you down, just my leg, right? But if I have my leg here, now, right, I can keep you broken down. And if you posture up, it's gonna open you up this way because I have this hook. So now if you try to posture up, it's actually giving me better access to this, right? And there's all kinds of sneaky shit you can do once you start getting this here. You can put your foot here, right? And then you can go like this. Right? There's all sorts of crap you can do there. But this is just one, one thing you can do from that meat hook. That meat hook has other options, okay? All right, partner up. Let's run through it. One, two, three.